grab your sunscreen because on today's episode, everything is powered by the sun. I'm in Northern California with solar guru Steve Heckeroth to find out how to fuel my wheels with nothing more than solar rays. Steve, you are the epitome of green, if you ask me. I'm trying. <laughs> you, you power your entire home and your grounds using solar power. You drive using a solar electric car. You harvest your own food using a solar electric tractor. And even your home has been built in such a way to maximize solar power and solar efficiency. It's the only energy resource that is pretty much unlimited. There's uh, thousands, millions of times more solar energy striking the Earth than we actually need. If we can capture even a small portion of that, we can satisfy all our energy needs. This is thin film photovoltaic material, solar electricity. Photovoltaic power may sound scary, but the technology is actually quite simple. This is a little solar panel. Okay, so this, this is what is on here. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> We use much more energy in our cars than we do in our homes. If you use more than a gallon worth of gasoline a day, you're using more energy in your car than you are in your house. We are using so much energy for transportation compared to everything else we do. But Steve's got an electric car that he charges with the energy created by his rooftop solar array. So it's 100% emission free and doesn't cost a thing. That's it? That's it. The batteries in this car has 66,000 miles on it without any maintenance at all. This is not the normal thing you'd see when you open a car. This is inside here is the inverter. All the nickel metal hydride batteries are under the floor. None of the cab space is used for that. And the center of gravity is an 800 pound battery pack all under the floorboards about as low a center of gravity as you could want. It's very stable on the road. I mean, how much power do I really get in this car? It goes 85 on the freeway. Steve's electric RAV4 rocks. It drives great, it's economical, and it's got all the amenities of a regular car. So I'm still trying to figure out why we all aren't driving them. There's no more reliable energy source than the sun. And it turns out it's pretty simple to harness. If Steve's taught me anything, it's that we have to think big and there's nothing bigger than this. 